Hi, welcome to Electro Study YouTube channel. Today we are going to study about a multimedia network types. So in the previous video, I have discussed about uh, multimedia networks. Uh, what are the different types of multimedia networks? In that we have discussed about a telephone network. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about a data network. Data network is nothing but it is a basic data transmitter between it might be an email or it might be a general file transfer. It might be a PDF document or it might be an email, anything. So here in the data networks, we'll be having the uh, personal computers at the workstation as well to transfer a file. The, these are the two networks that widely used in the data network that is X. 0.25 network and one more is the internet. So this is actually low bitrate data. It can it may not be suitable for the multimedia communication. So these are the two networks that we'll be using for the data network. One is X25 and one more is the internet. This is the high bitrate uh, uh, data communication is done through the internet. This is a low bitrate. So if it was a high bitrate, this is used for multimedia application. This is a low bitrate so only it is not suitable for the multimedia communication and all the data whatever it is communicated through the networks it is operated in packet mode so this is a block diagram of the data networks how it is uh, the data is communicated uh, for if we wanted to access an internet to a small house or a small business you can, with the help of ISP, nothing but internet uh, service providers, you can able to access the internet to this small home or a business. And then if you compare, this is a small site, uh, single site business in which uh, the server computer will be there. Many computers are connected to a campus. You consider one college in which all the computers are connected with this particular network or server. And if you want, and this is nothing but a group of, uh, uh, this is a wide private area network in which you have uh, many lands. It is also called as multiple uh, site business in which all the lands are connected with the help of inter-site backbone network. So all the particular, and this is one land, this is uh, one land in which many multiple side businesses can be done in the, for this particular land we are connecting to a many computers and this is also one computer where many computers are connected to this particular land as well as the server is connected in this particular network so this is also called as enterprise wide private network where the multiple side businesses can be done and now this one two three these three networks are connected to a global internet. As I told you, in the data networks, we'll be using the internet to further communication. Uh, it can able to transfer the uh, multiple data as well as you can use it for multimedia communication where you can able to transfer an audio file, video file, text file, as well images. So this is a high bitrate internet worker. So these three networks are connected with the help of gateway. Gateway or routers will be using the device called gateway in which the packets can be routed to the destination with the help of this particular routers or gateways. So this is another uh, diagram as uh, same we have discussed. In the, this is nothing but global internet backbone network. Uh, so if you wanted to access to a home or a small business with the help of internet service provider, we can able to access if we want to communicate via uh, PSPN with modems. As well as if it was a small site business in which a gateway we are communicating through a gateway or a router in which the packets are communicated. It is a small single site business if you want, a multiple site business of many lands are interconnected with the help of inter-site backbone network. And then uh, with the help of this gateways, we are connecting these three different networks. So usually data is transmitted in a basic 
OSI model that is open system interconnection in which it will come across, it will transfer across all the layers and reach to the destination. But here we are discussing about a data network, how a data is transmitted in this particular network layer, this particular network layer in the data network. And here we'll see what is packet. Packet is nothing but it is a block of data with the address. This, so it, if in the network layer, we will know the destination address where it have to reach. So it is a block of data with the address at the head. And next we'll be using a routers or gateways as we saw here. So gateways or a router. So router is one device in which you can able to route the packets to the destination or it might be, uh, it will route the packets to particular um, PC or um, a computer. It is also known as a router, is a device which is used to route the packets. Now we have to compare the data networks in multimedia. So as we told, we are all can interconnecting with the help of routers to a with the help of global internet backbone network. And this now multimedia PCs before it can able to transfer only the data. But now due to advances in technologies, the multi this multimedia computers can able to transfer audio, video, as well as the uh, images. Everything we can, everything we can able to transfer with the help of this data network nowadays and uh, thank you so much if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you